Heroin addiction has been called a scourge, an epidemic, but rarely do we hear any solutions. Hancock County is trying to change that, and tonight Jeremy Brilliant says they have a new approach to the heroin problem there, and they are seeing some success. You know, I got my license back, I got insurance, I've got, you know. Andrew Mercer considers himself lucky. My life's fallen back into place slowly but surely. His addiction to heroin started like many. After a work injury, he was prescribed pain pills, which he took for a year. Then I was taken off of them, just completely cold turkey. For a while, he bought pills on the street. It became too expensive. I started buying heroin and... Uh, before I knew it, my life was pretty much out of control. In July, this 34-year-old father ended up in the Hancock County Jail. I missed my daughter's first birthday. I missed her first words. I missed her first steps. That encouraged him to give up drugs and pushed him to take a chance. And the idea for us is not to criminalize addiction, but to um, hold people accountable for the behaviors associated with that. The so-called heroin protocol, a pilot program in Hancock County, required Andrew to spend 90 days behind bars. But instead of sending him to prison, a judge ordered him to rehab. He's allowed to leave to see his family. Little girl is 16 months. Our little boy is going to be three. And to go to his full-time job. It's definitely a different way of life. I mean, you know, I'm learning to live my life without drugs as an option. And that's, that's the best way to feel, man. In just eight months, officials say they are seeing mostly positive outcomes. Somebody that was in jail and somebody was committing crimes and somebody that's a upstanding person in society and has a job and is, you know, active and engaged, well, that's, that's success. Success for Andrew means a life without heroin. It exists out there, but it doesn't exist here. You know, I, I, won't, I won't ever put my family in that position again. I won't ever put myself in that position again. His wedding band and watch, which he once pawned for drug money, are now back in his possession. My family doesn't have to worry about getting that phone call saying I'm dead or I'm in jail or, you know, instead when they get a phone call, it's positive. A positive life and a drug-free future. Jeremy Brilliant, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Emergency responders say they're also seeing an impact. Overdose calls in Greenfield are down by more than half compared to last year.